Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about METS, Metabolic Equivalent of Tasks, what they are, because people are confused about what they are, and how they apply to longevity. A MET, a Metabolic Equivalent of task, is a simple way to measure how much energy your body uses when doing different activities compared to when you are at rest. At rest, your body uses a certain amount of energy just to keep you alive. This is called your resting metabolic rate. One met equals the amount of energy you are at rest. It's like saying, when you're just sitting quietly, you're using one met of energy. When you do something more active, like walking or running, you use more energy, and the met number goes up. For example, walking slowly might use about two mets, twice as much energy as when you're sitting still. Running could use eight mets or more eight times more energy than when you're resting. So, in simple terms, a MET is just a way to compare how much harder your body is working during different activities. To find out how much energy or how many calories you burned during an exercise, you can use the following simple formula. Calories burned equals MET value times your weight in kilograms times in hours. For example, you weigh 70 kilos and you do an activity that has a 10 met value and you do it for 30 minutes. Here's how you will calculate it. Convert 30 minutes into hours. 30 minutes equals 0 0.05 hours. Now plug this into this formula. Calories burned, 10 mets times 70 kilos times 0 0.05 hours equals 350 calories. This means you will burn about 350 calories from that run. Higher met activities help you burn more calories, which is greater for your health and fitness. This is just a quick formula. There's a precise formula that the numbers are just a bit different, but this gives you an estimate. The reason why I'm saying this is because you need to meet a certain amount of METs per day for longevity. Now, how does this apply? How do METs apply for longevity? Studies show a clear link between how hard you exercise measured by METs and the chances of living a long, healthy life. In simple terms, when women exercise at a level of 9 mets or more and men at 10 mets or more, the risk of dying from various health issues decreases significantly. This means that hitting these exercise levels can help you live longer. If you are exercising at 4 to 6 mets, you're already helping yourself. But the real benefits kick in once you reach that 9 to 10 met level. However, if your activity drops below 4 mets, your risk of health problems increases. This is what the studies say. But here's the catch. As we age, our ability to exercise at these higher MET levels tends to drop by about 10% every decade. So it's crucial to keep moving and stay active to maintain those beneficial exercise levels as we get older. It's not easy. It gets harder as we age. This is why you must continue to train for the rest of your life. You need to do these exercises according. They say you should exercise 75 minutes of vigorous activity. 10 met, 10 MET levels exercises is vigorous activity. You should do 75 minutes. Therefore, you should exercise 15 to 30 minutes every time, five days a week. 15 of those 30 minutes, one hour a day. 15 of those 30 minutes should be vigorous activity that equals 10 METs. In addition, people may are confused. When I say 10 METs, I don't mean an exercise that equals three METs. Let's say I walk moderately, equals three METs. It doesn't mean that you walk three times and it equals nine METs. And three METs will always be three METs. It's the intensity of the exercise that equals the METs. Therefore, you need to do sprints. Uh, there's a list. I'm going to put a website below in the description. There's a list of all the exercises that research has shown that equals nine or ten METs or more. Now, I'm going to show you the routine I do. Because this covers me. This is just one of the routines I do. I do a 60 meter sprint non-stop. I jump, I do 10 pull-ups to my chest, explosive. And then I jump down immediately and do 10 hang climbing push-ups. This works my whole body. All the fast switch fibers in the legs and upper body. I like this routine. I, I do it for like 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I do three to four sets. I'm showing you two sets. So this is where you get the idea. I also showed alternatives if you can't do my routine exactly. Okay, I'm gonna do a 60 meter sprint. Come here, do 10 explosive pull-ups to my chest. Jump back down and do 10 hand clapping push-ups.
harder than what it looks. That hits the fast switch fibers. The fast motor units, baby. I am going to do another round for you. Ah. 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 Round two. This is so good for the fast motor units. And when you're done doing this, you can't be breathing hard. For those of you that can't do pull-ups, I'm gonna give you an alternative. You need a band, a strong band. Put it on the ball. Okay, you grab it. Palms this way, grab it as far up as you can, come back a little, step back from the bar, and explode to your chest like this. One, two, three, four. Even use your legs a little, no problem. Because if you can't do the pull up, you need to do an alternative. That's an alternative. Believe me, it works. You just need to explode to your chest. Grab it. Make sure you grab it this way, not this way. This way. And curl your arms. Shoot. Shoot. Okay? That's an alternative. For those of you that can't do these, you know, they can't do it. Just do explosive push ups. Make sure your chest touches the floor. Explode up. If you can only do five reps, do them. But explode. Do as many as you can. No more than ten. Do five. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Explode. Maintain those fast twitch fibers, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the two alternatives. If you can't do my exercises, I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this information helped you. You must maintain physical activity all your life. You don't want to lose the capacity because once you lose that capacity, you slow down. This is what makes us slow down. Have a wonderful day. See you soon in my next video.